Whoa, hi guys, I'm starting this vlog like a sit down video, but I just filmed three different videos. I filmed the get ready with me, um, my Shein haul, little sneak peek. I don't know if it'll go up before or after this, I'm not really sure. And then I filmed a what's in my bag. Those are the three videos that I filmed. And now my room looks like a mess. I can show you guys my filming setup. I always love showing my filming setup because it's literally so crazy and it changes every time. So this is basically my filming setup today. So obviously that was my background. I've got all my makeup in here that I used for my get ready with me. Stuff from my what's in my bag and then all these swimsuits are over there and then I put this little thing on my bed and then I also put a box to keep it high up and then my outfit I put on a very nice shirt with my PJ pants and that is how you film a video so I'm going to change into a more me top which is something comfy and then I'm going to clean up my bed After I cleaned, I don't know what happened. I just didn't vlog. But I just watched Aspen and Parker where they told like Parker's family about them having a baby. And I'm so freaking excited. I actually haven't even talked about like them having a baby yet and like my reaction to it. But I'm so excited. I've been watching Aspen since, oh gosh, I don't even know. Probably like six, seven years now. Before her and Parker even started dating is when I started watching her. So I'm so excited they're having a baby. Do you guys think it's gonna be a boy or a girl? I think it's gonna be a girl. Comment down below what you think and if you guys are excited. I love Aspen, so I'm super excited. But now I'm gonna try to find the hockey game on TV. It's a good thing me and Easton didn't go because now um, it's a no travel advisory, so yeah. I know it's like a weird channel, okay. But yeah, I'm just gonna watch this and then I'll probably update you guys later. I just put on a face mask. This one is Odafix and it's by Lush. It says, it is a beautiful blend of bananas, vanilla, ground almonds, and oats to cool and nourish irritated skin. This one I have to keep in the fridge and I always forget that I have it. And I was just in my fridge because I was eating some chips and salsa and I saw it so I figured I'd put it on. So I don't really know how you're supposed to put it on because it comes like clumped. So I just kind of put it on clumped. There's an easier way to do this. Let me know. Now I'm just gonna sit here and watch some hockey. Oh my goodness, I am very washed out. How do I fix this? You guys, what's happening? Okay, I don't know what just happened, but I just went and got a shake. This is the first time I've gotten a shake. Actually, go back. Today's the next day, it's Saturday, and my battery's dying great. But I just went and got a shake at Extreme. I don't know if you can see that, but I got fried ice cream and I got Skittles tea. And if you can tell, I'm not in my own car. I'm in my mom's car. Um, I have to park outside at my house. And what even is the temperature? Well, it's 12 degrees out, it's not that cold. But I just wanted to hop in a car that was warm and so, Hers is in the garage, so I did that. She also has a heated steering wheel and heated seats, so I'm like, extra warmth, I'm taking your car. So yeah, now I'm gonna go home and do some homework that I have to do. I have some midterms this week, mm, so I'm gonna do those. I got this package, I'm pretty sure it's from Kylie Cosmetics, so I'm gonna open it. Is there like an easier way to open this? I don't really know. I'm the worst with opening packages, you guys, like, 
Oh, okay. So you open it, it says Kylie Cosmetics. Oh, and then we got a little note that just says Kylie holographically and then says, good choice, love these products you picked. Hope you enjoy them as much as I do, XOXO. Kylie, I got my two shades. So I'm actually gonna try these on. Let's do Coco K at first. So I just got them in the single, I don't know, I don't really like the lip liner, I just like putting them on, so that's why I did it. So this is what it looks like. I can compare it to Candy K. So there is a slight difference between the two. You guys can see that. This is Coco K on, and then the other one I got is Malibu. Okay, so yeah, it is a little bit darker. Compare all of them, so... Candy K, Coco K, Malibu, Malibu compared to Candy K. I'm scared for this one. I never wear it like stuff that is dark. I don't know if it's because I'm wearing white right now and it's like washing me out. Okay, in my mirror it looks good, but on camera it does not. Maybe if I change the lighting. I feel like it could grow on me, but for that moment, I don't like it. Maybe it's because I have no makeup on. I don't know. So now, like I said, I'm just going to do some homework and then I'll just check back in with you guys later today. So I just swatched them on my hand. On the right, we have Malibu. In the middle, we have Candy K. And on the left, we have Coco K. Hi guys, so it's the next day. It's Sunday now. I'm with Easton. We were going to Sickies. If you don't know, we go to Sickies every Sunday. I didn't vlog that much yesterday because I literally didn't do anything. But yeah, so we're just going to eat. Hi guys, it is a while later now. It's 4.40. I got home from eating about like an hour ago. And I started on my science experiment for the week, if you don't know. I'm in a online chemistry class. So I have to do like a scientific experiment thing each week. And so I started mine today, but it needs three hours to dry before I can continue like doing it. And so you have to wait till seven and it's almost five right now. So we've got like two more hours. I actually put on my Instagram story earlier today. I'm going to be doing the Instagram picks my makeup video. And so I put on like all the different products that I want to possibly use and put them on my story. So if you are not following me on Instagram and you want to like participate in more of that kind of stuff, definitely do that. I used to be so scared to post YouTube stuff on my personal Instagram. I'm not really that scared anymore. I'm still kind of scared because I feel like people are going to like make fun of me. But literally, so many people have a YouTube channel and so many people around where I live are like making YouTube channels now too. So I shouldn't be that scared. But yeah, I'm finally getting around to doing that video because I'm not scared anymore. <laughs> so definitely follow me so you don't miss another video thing like that it's just just brown with two ends i'll have it on the screen right here so now i think i'm gonna go through my closet and try to posh mark some more stuff ever since i stopped working out like a year and a half ish ago none of my jeans fit me anymore and so i'm gonna go through all my jeans try them on the ones that don't fit me i'm gonna put on posh mark and the ones that do obviously i'm gonna keep them so if you need some new jeans in your size like zero to two ish in that range definitely go check out my Poshmark. I'll have it linked down below. I might also go through some of my tops because my closet's literally exploding right now and I do not need all the clothes that I have. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Like the worst angle literally ever but i figured i could show you guys some of the stuff that i did put on my poshmark i haven't gone through my like jeans yet but i just went through my tanks and a lot of these i haven't even worn so i figured i would show you guys what they are in case any of you guys are interested in them most of them will probably be like 12 to 5 dollars that range -ish on my poshmark so if you guys want any of them, like I said, it'll be linked down below. Go check it out. First one is Never Worn. It's like a navy blue. It's got some like lace up detail in the front. The back is cute. I got this to wear for a dance competition because the team I coach for, his colors are red, white, and blue, which I'm wearing their showcase shirt right now. And I don't know what I was thinking. It's like the middle of winter. I'm obviously not going to wear a tank top to a dance competition. So... I don't know why I bought that. This one, 
I had a thing where I was like, I'm going to Coachella, like senior year in high school. Actually, it was like the summer of senior year of high school, like I, senior between college and high school. I don't know, whatever. I was like, I want to go to Coachella. So I bought this top in case I ever get to go, which even if I went, I don't think I'd ever wear this top. But it's basically like a crow shade top, ties around the neck, ties in the back, never been worn. If you are going to Coachella though, that is a great top. This one I wore for my senior pictures and that was it. It's just another like white kind of crocheted top with like a lining and then the bottom have little frillies. This was on like the sale rack in American Eagle and I was like, oh, that's cute. And then I bought it and once again, never wore it. It's just a tank, it's kind of flowier at the bottom. Back is racer back, crisscross straps. This one, I got it Forever 21 and I wore to a team dinner in Orlando for nationals my senior year. It's really cute, the back is like open. Once again though, I've never worn it besides then. My favorite thing to do is buy outfits for one occasion and never wear them again. And that's literally what my whole entire <laughs> closet is. But next I got this, um, this was back in like, I was probably, this shirt's probably like really old, um, I don't know, I was probably like a junior in high school when I bought this. It's a Brandy Melville one size fits all, it's just a maroon tank and then the top strap is like a halter and the other two are just like spaghetti, just maroon, really cute. I think I wore this for like a photo shoot once and then... It wasn't even a photo shoot, I literally was in my backyard with one of my friends and we were taking pictures and I haven't worn it since. This one I love but I just, I don't know, it doesn't look good on me. I didn't try it on in the store, that's probably one of the things that gets me the most. I never try anything on but it's just like this stripe, it's got like blues and then the mauve and then it is like you can put your arms in the sleeves if that makes sense, I don't know. And yeah and then the back has like a little cut out ties in the back and then last one um i was in hosa which i don't even health professional students of america i think it's called that could be wrong it's just like a medical club and we had to dress up and so i bought this so i wore this once and i haven't worn it again if any of you are like need to wear some like dresser clothes this is a great top so that's all the tops that i've done so far i think i'm gonna stop with tops there today and move on to my pants so once I figure out what pants I'm getting rid of, I'll come back on here and show you guys. Okay, for pants, I got these navy leggings once again. I bought these for an event. I bought them for homecoming last year, and I never wore them again. So they are navy. They're from Old Navy. Um, They're a small... They have got pockets in them. And then this going down the leg, it's like mesh on the side. So I got those. I have a plain pair of black jeans from American Eagle. They don't have any distressing or anything. I looked and all my jeans are size zero and they're all jeggings. So if you're interested in that. Um, same thing, no distressing, just a light wash. Again, same thing, white, no distressing, jegging. And then I have this one. It's kind of like a mix between like dark wash and medium wash. It's like Kind of a blend of both, but once again, no distressing. And then I have like this kind of medium-ish more wash and then a dark wash, both non-distressed jeggings. So all of these size, well not the leggings, but size zero, jegging, if that's your size, go check out my Poshmark. So now I'm gonna list all of these once it's time to finish my science experiment. I'm going to do that and then, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do the rest of the night. Hi guys, it's a while later and I took a shower and I did this hair mask and I don't know if you guys can see but it literally turned my hair like purple. Like can you guys, can you see that? I might have left it on for too long. Um, After I straighten it, hopefully it'll look a little better. I don't really know, but I'm just gonna end this here. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. My battery's dying, good thing I'm ending this now. Yeah, um, give us a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. And don't you stop the music getting to it, won't you dance with me? Find a place and lose it, you can do it, won't you dance with me?